Uh, it wouldn't be Christmas, would it, Gaffer, without a trip to Cheltenham? <laughs> Seems like we're there every year. It does. We know the way. Yeah, we don't need the sat nav to the hotel, so yeah, we're well experienced on it. Um, and it's going to be another good game, hopefully. Uh, I think the, the game, previous games you've had there against them on Boxing Day have been entertaining. Last year's one, we enjoyed it. Got a great result, so yeah, hopefully we can uh, put on another good performance for what is going to be another sellout uh, uh, away at Cheltenham. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose. If you're not going to be at home, you do want one that's closer and, and chatting for our fans. You can go up on the day and it's great. And yeah. as you said, the sold out tickets. Do you enjoy the Boxing Day matches? Do you I, like love them? The, I love the Boxing Day matches. Yeah, just wish that we'd get one here. Yeah. Because I don't think it's fair that I think six on the spin we've had away from home, seven out of eight apparently. Um, and I think it'd be nice for our fans to enjoy a, a local um, Christmas Day here and not have to worry about driving the next day and go to the pub the local pubs around here mm. on Boxing Day, so it would be nice if the AFL looked after us once in a while. Um, because yet yeah, the Boxing Day fixtures are great and it's what everybody looks forward to. It's one of the, the first ones on, on the calendar that you see who you're playing. It just feels like we've had deja vu. <laughs> it absolutely is. Um, although we sh we'd take deja, deja vu, wouldn't we ever get the same result? As yeah, we have the last couple. Exactly, yeah. If we get the same performance and we get the same results as we did last year, then no one will moan and no one will complain and it will have been a good day. But I think for us to do that, we have to make sure that we play really well because it's going to be a hard game. Um, it's always tough every time you go there. The pitch always feels real small, mm. so you've got to battle and fight and earn the right, which we did last year, and counter attack the thing twice for two goals. So, yeah, it might be something similar this year. What are you expecting from the game? Because looking at their form um, and just across the whole season, really, I think they've conceded fewer goals than us, yeah. but they haven't scored as many, clearly. and are on a, a quite a decent run mm. at home in the league. What what are you expecting from it? Yeah, exactly that. What you've just said, they don't don't give you too much. I think they've won one nil like five times mm. as well. So it shows how defensively um solid they are and how organised they are. The defenders are no nonsense really, the physical and um, and to defend their goal well. I think they have underperformed on what the goals or their expected goals would have been. And um, they created some real good chances and just haven't being clinical with them, so we need to make sure that we don't give them too many chances because we know Alfie May is a quality player at this level and the other big guy here, Dan Enlundulu, he's a handful, so defensively we have to make sure that we're, we're on it and we pass the ball as, as well as we possibly can on what I say, what, is what a tight pitch um, and do enough time to try and get the three points because it's important. Uh, and if we were to get them, it would give us 50 points at the halfway stage, which is yeah. a mind-blowing tally, isn't it? It's unbelievable, yeah. And if we get that, it'd be um, a brilliant achievement and something that, that the players can all be really proud of. They've worked so hard in the first half of the season. This is the 23rd game. Um, and for us to be sitting top of the league with 50 points should give you loads of confidence that you know, you've know you done half a season. Now you've got to... Obviously, going to have peaks and troughs throughout the second half of the season. We understand that. We're not going to get it, you know, all our own way again for the second half of the season. But this will finish off the first half of what's been a brilliant campaign so far. Well, best of luck and Merry Christmas, Kevin. Thank you.